guys, so just finished watching Arrow Season 4, Episode 4, Beyond Redemption. Um, this was pretty interesting since it was the episode right after Sarah uh, came back in preparation for Legend of Tomorrow. Now, I was hoping that there'd be a little bit more um, of, uh, uh, you know, Ray in this episode. And at least, you know, she'd get the, the video where she'd start looking into it. Which, I guess, she, she was like, oh, i got to get over her feelings and stuff like that. Which, um, yeah, she had feelings for him and stuff like that. And it was his ex, her ex-boyfriend, as she says in the, in the episode. But... She chose Oliver over him, you know, so she had made her decision beforehand. And yeah, there's still some d the idea of like, um, you know, she that that you know, he died right after that and stuff. And she, uh, you know, she did like it's not like she had to choose Oliver and never be never ever seeing Ray ever again. Um, it's not, it's not like what she chose that, um. You know, it's not like she was had forced to be make some sort of decision like that. She, even though she she chose Oliver, she always knew that you know she would be still working for Ray. And well, you know, Oliver, she needed to, she would have to be still working for Ray because, uh, you know, Oliver needs the money, and you know they still Oliver doesn't have any money and stuff like that. So she'd always end up still hanging around with Ray and be good friends with Ray. So, uh, I could see where there that there's that. Um, and it was kind of funny seeing uh, Mr. Terrific, um, I'm trying to guess who the uh. With the green arrow is and he's like oh neil adams and which is kind of cool and there's a few more neil adams uh references you know definitely can't wait to see uh you know next time uh neil adams comes to a convention near me uh you know to talk to him about that there's a few neil adams references in, in arrow which is pretty cool uh, i kind of like that um and uh you know it was i really like this this episode it was kind of interesting i mean a little bit predictable in some points here and there and like I knew Captain Lance wasn't going to shoot Sarah I mean especially with the whole um you know Ledger of Tomorrow knowing and all that stuff there's not much uh really to kind of uh there's there's not much kind of drama until that until that comes out I mean just because like I've been saying and all the other stuff is just that there's um you know in Legends of Tomorrow in, in the trailers you got Flash and Arrow both in their pre-season ones their last season's costumes you know we got the Arrow costume in in, in Legends of Tomorrow trailer, we have the Flash costume with the, uh, you know, red background on the logo and not the white background, you know, which, which I find is kind of weird now that I'm thinking about it in the timeline, it's just not making sense to me, the costumes wise, uh, but I understand, you know, maybe they didn't have those costumes for those shows, but I don't know, I just think that it's, it's going to be interesting to see if they explain it or not, but probably won't. Um, but uh, it's pretty cool uh, seeing next week's episode with John Constantine. That's going to be cool to see, seeing the trailers for that. I definitely hope that uh, John Constantine is not just called in for this one episode and then called back. Uh, I mean, I understand where, uh, you know, the whole thing that, you know, maybe, hopefully, you know, if they do do it like, you know, like that, where he's called in, then he's called back and that's it. Hopefully, maybe, you know, he can kind of, uh, obviously, he probably won't be into the whole uh, Legend of Tomorrow since they had that all all written down before they had you know Constantine was confirmed canceled or anything like that. And I don't see that happening. But maybe some of the episodes that were not written after Legend of Tomorrow that they kind of trailed off. Maybe he could come back for that. Uh, but if not, hopefully he'll have a bigger epi big a big part in uh, season four, season five, and stuff like that uh, to the whole story, uh, more than just kind of. I feel like this this season he'll probably just be this episode, maybe a few after, uh, you know, here and there that you know not really connecting to Legend of Tomorrow. Maybe the aftermath of Legend of Tomorrow, they might be able to change stuff, uh, but it'll strictly be an Arrow centric episode because I definitely, hopefully, we could see him. He could be a nice character that kind of doesn't start yes he's an oliver's friend and stuff like that as they show in the trailer for next week's episode um but uh, hopefully we get to have a little bit more of him you know he could go back and forth and from flash and arrow and be the one guy that kind of is not locked into eat any show and he could just be on either side you know uh oliver could recommend him for barry for something uh you know and he could because imagine if Imagine Constantine dealing with the Earth 2 and mixing that Earth together. I think that idea could just be mind-boggling. It would be awesome to see him on The Flash dealing with Jake J Garrett and uh, Earth 2 and his version. And, you know, using his magic to get to access Earth 2 and stuff. That could just be wow. And another thing I really wanted to point out is that this week we got another return of The Canary Cry. It's been so long since we've seen The Canary Cry. Actually, I don't know if we've seen it this year yet, but... Um, this season at all yet, which, oh my god, it needs to get so much better, that Canary Cry sucks balls, oh my god, is that Canary Cry bad, I mean, even when it, when it worked at the end of the episode, it was okay, just 
make it louder, make it, you know, turn off the, 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 the soundtrack to the episode when that thing is, when that canary cry is on. I want to hear nothing but that and blare it at, at me. Make me turn down my, my stereo, my TV if I want, if I need to, um, you know, really blare it out or at least add some visual to it so that it really can see it doing stuff and it more than just, oh, the person fell back after you hear a cry, you know, make it like, I want to really want to see it, stuff like that. I want to see... And when she shoots it, when she shot it at the guy at the end of the episode, and he fell in, I want to see the car ripple, you know, with the sound wave. Uh, you know, even the car move back with the sound wave. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, the car get pushed your way back. Uh, you know, even if it's the car gets pushed just a foot or two, you know, uh, just put some power into that thing. I mean, yeah, it's you, if you use it, if you're gonna use it once an episode, make it worthwhile with the visual effects. You know, last week we got Killer Shark and in the Flash, and oh my God, does he look amazing! You know, uh, so hopefully they could put that uh, that amount of time into her canary cry. And if she used it once an episode, uh, you know, once every second episode, make it worthwhile with the whole visual effects and add more visual to it instead of this stupid thing. Because this right now is pretty uh, silly. Even the let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, let me know what you rate the episode. And let me know what you rate her cry, the canary cry, because I hate it. I Hopefully, uh, Sarah, when she gets her wits back, she actually hates it too, because I hate it. Yes. Bye. See you in the next episode, guys. Peace.